Hello, everyone. This is another Black Conservative. I am Ryan Clifton Bowling. Thank you for joining me. Before I get into the essence of this article, I want to address uh, one of my uh, subscribers who requested that I do a video or at least another video on the fentanyl. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The fentanyl crisis that is basically a major, major problem in America, which it is. Um, I wanted to say to the individual that uh, thank you for make, helping me to be more aware of that, but I haven't found anything at this point on fentanyl that would be worthy of even getting, in, getting into at any length of time in terms of doing an actual video on. I, 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 there was a particular uh, 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 article on drugs, but it was on meth. And, um, meth. It was on meth. So I haven't found anything on fentanyl, but when I do, I'll be sure and do a detailed um, commentary and video on that particular subject. Because here in the city of Cleveland, where I live, it is a major problem. It is a major problem. And I read it in an article, it is a major problem. So perhaps, as a matter of fact, I might do one of those articles and do a video on that. So uh, just be patient with me. But what I want to talk about today is of course that we all know that the governance disinformation board uh, or disinformation or misinformation board has been disbanded. And uh, Nina Wankowitz, I think that's her name is, I think that's her last name, has basically resigned from the board. Uh, but I've read an article, we're going to go over this article, in which she basically jumps to the defense of what this disinformation board was all about this governance disinformation board was really all about so we're going to get into that and then i'm going to give you my detailed commentary on what i think the real spin is okay so let's get right into this article the title of the article is ironic disinformation board killed by disinformation <laughs> nina jankowitz said wednesday on msnbc MSNBC's All In, that the Department of Homeland Security's new disinformation governance board was disbanded because of disinformation. Jankowitz was supposed to leave the now dissolved board. Jankowitz said, quote, all these sensationalized narratives about what people thought the board was going to do was completely wrong. It was a coordinating mechanism. Now get this, this is what she says it really was about. It was meant to make sure that the very large agency that is the Department of Homeland Security that people were talking about to each other within it. Let me give you an example. FEMA, the agency that handles disasters and environmental issues, would often encounter misinformation about natural disasters. Let's say an adv advisory adversary like Iran or China would put out a false narrative like this, like this is how you get out of the city or this is where you can find disaster aid. That could put people really into danger. Their lives in, 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 put their lives into danger. That's the sort of disinformation and misinformation that we are looking to support the department in addressing to make sure they had best practices and most importantly to protect uh, Americans' freedom of speech, civil liberties, and privacy while we're doing all that work. Please, give me a break. So every characteristic characterization of the board that you heard up until now has been incorrect and frankly it's kind of ironic that the board itself was taken over by disinformation when it was meant to fight it she continued i've been a i've been a really nuanced reasonable person again as i said i briefed and advised both republicans and democrats i admired some of the steps even the trump administration took to combat disinformation she added to say that I am just a I'm just a partisan actor wildly out of context. It ain't quote. So let's get into this, folks. Um, first of all, in my opinion, with the little bit of information that I know and have, that's a whole bunch of BS. All of a sudden now, you want to say, okay, really what this this information board is really all about is to make sure that the other organizations and committees within the government will be able to coordinate their information better 
okay, so that we can fight disinformation from 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 people who may be our adversaries, uh, such as Cuba, or whatever, giving wrong information. So is that what this really was really all about? If, if that's what it, it was really all about, then how come no one said anything about it? I don't I didn't hear anything about it. If that was what it was really all about, then how come how come it wasn't it wasn't spoken about? Now, maybe some of you guys may have heard about it. And she may have given that information before or someone else in government may have said that the government's, the Homeland Security's disinformation board was is supposed to be a coordinating effort to help make sure that uh, America, such American organizations such as FEMA and so forth, wouldn't get misinformation from people who are considered our adversaries. OK, if there has been any information on that, I haven't heard about it. Let me know in the comment box below. Because I, I want to be objective. But I haven't heard anything about that. Now all of a sudden that's what it's supposed to be about. Really? You mean to tell me all these many, many years, decades of supposed misinformation coming from these other, these people who are, who are adverse, adversaries of America, given all this wrong information. You mean to tell me it took y'all decades to come up with a board to stop that kind of, that kind of disinformation? It took you decades to do that? Come on now. I was born, I may have been born yesterday, but I wasn't born last the last hour. I wasn't born an hour ago. And I think most Americans weren't born an hour ago too. So this is a bunch of hogwash. She has resigned from the position. I don't know, I forget exactly why she resigned, was taken down. But from what I was he hearing on one particular YouTuber, uh, that she basically resigned because of her own uh, 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 twisting of facts or whatever. So I don't know anything about that, and I'm not going to speak on that, but I know I feel in my gut that this whole governance board of disinformation was designed to basically censor conservative voices and any voice that opposes the governments, the radical, leftist, Marxist, communist socialist supporting governments worldview and policies that's what i believe it was all for but to god be the glory that it has been according to one particular uh politician i think and i might do a video on that one it's been temporarily uh suspended or temporarily disbanded they might bring it back up later on but right now it's been it's been disbanded i hope it never comes back it shouldn't have been created to begin with OK, so that's what I wanted to say about that. I think that's a whole bunch of BS. I think that's a whole bunch of nonsense. It's to me, the disinformation people who gives disinformation is a far left radicals. Think about what is misinformation and disinformation. What exactly is that? Here is the definition of disinformation. False information, which is intended to mislead especially propaganda issued by a government organization to a rival power of the media. So that's basically what disinformation is. So basically that's what it is. It's false information which is intended to mislead. So I've asked this question before. Who's doing the disinformation? So disinformation is information that's intended to mislead, to deceive other people. So you mean to tell me that conservatives and people that come back, the far leftist ideology is trying to mislead people? We purposely putting information out there to mislead people? Conservatives are purposely trying to mislead people? When we said, when, 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 when uh, uh, far left Democrats said that uh, an attack against black people's ability to vote was being created by, by Republicans because Republicans requested that you have valid ID, that's disinformation? That's disinformation. Are you? Are, that's not even worth me arguing over. That's not even worth me debating over. To have proper ID, I'm not going to even debate about that. I'm not going to even discuss that. That's common sense. That's disinformation. Tell me. I I I, I don't know. Clue me in. Clue me in on whether or not that's disinformation. Information purposely given to mislead. Man, come on now. So I want to say that about that. I think that this whole, what she said was a bunch of nonsense. It's not going to take you de several decades to come up with a, with a disinformation board to combat people who may possibly be 
our adversaries in reference to getting aid and assistance to people that they need to be they need to get aid and assistance that's a bunch of nonsense her defense is bogus in my opinion to say the least but what do you guys think leave your comments in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button share this video and subscribe god bless you all and see you again on another black conservative with ryan clifton bowling